Hi everyone, welcome to the 13th lecture of Ansible series and in this lecture we will try to understand how to use a dynamic inventory using EC2 plugin. Now this is very important because this is a newer method of doing or playing around with dynamic inventory. In our previous lecture we had done a demo on how you can use dynamic inventory or call dynamic inventory with the help of Python script. Again, it's not necessary to use a Python script, but the script is already written. So I do prefer that way instead of reinventing the wheel again to create my own script and waste my time to do that if I already have a script provided. But using a script is an older way or method of doing or playing around with a dynamic inventory. The newer method is EC2 plugin. In order to do or play around with the dynamic inventory with EC2 plugin, you need to have an Ansible core. And to install that, you have to run this command Ansible Galaxy Collection install Amazon AWS for playing around with your AWS environment. Now, remember, since we are interacting with AWS environment, or let's say if you're interacting with any other environment, you have to make sure either you use IAM credential or you use I am role in order to interact with the service, right? Now get the inventory host from Amazon EC2. You have to create something like AWS underscore EC2 dot YML. Again, there is a proper documentation provided by Red Hat. I will be sharing that document in the description section. Please go through that because again, these are not written by me. I'm just taking a reference of those document because everybody has to take some references, right? And I have learned a lot with the Red Hat documentation. These are the requirements that you need. Python 3.6 greater than or equal to 3.6. Boto 3 is required. Boto core is required. In order to have Boto 3, if you have observed in my last lecture, we already installed Boto. Or if you want to install Boto 3, it's like pip install, pip install, then uh, Boto 3. If you execute that command, it will install Boto 3 for you. You don't have to install Boto core separately. It will get installed with the Boto 3 installation as well. Okay, this is the example that we will be going to work on. And this is the documentation that I'll be sharing in the description section. The plugin name after installing uh, that AWS, Amazon AWS stuff with Ansible Galaxy. Then you have to use plugin, call the plugin as AWS underscore EC2, then region, which region you are interacting with. If you want to play around with the tagging, again, tagging is very important. So if you are not aware of uh, all these EC2 instances and everything, I have a proper playlist of EC2 compute within AWS. So go to my channel and check the playlist of all the concept within AWS. You will be able to see everything has provided over there. Now, with the help of tag in every organization, we do a tag for the costing audit, for the security audit, easy to manage as well. What kind of servers running in the dev environment? What kind of servers are running in the production environment? So it's always preferred to have tagging involved. Now, in this case, we have, let's say, dev environment, env tag environment is called, uh, I mean, tag key is called environment, value is dev. Again, tagging works in a key value pair. Again, we have a tag environment, then dev or QA. So this is the way that we'll be going to play around with dynamic inventory using EC2 plugin. So let me stop the presentation again. So I hope this clears in terms of what we are going to do in terms of the practical scenario. The concept is already covered as part of our last lecture. Okay. So first of all, we have to use this command Ansible Galaxy Collection Amazon AWS. Let's do that. This is my controller engine. Let me paste. Okay. Dot is not there. Enter. Process installing dependency map. It takes few seconds to install Amazon AWS. As you can see, installing Amazon AWS, home Ansible admin, this, 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 collection is installed now. Perfect. Now let's go back to our presentation. Now this is installed. I have Python 3.6. I believe I have Python 3.6. Let's see. Python 3 hyphen hyphen version. Yeah, 3.6.8. I have a Boto 3 as well and Boto Code 2. Perfect. As part of my last lecture. 
Now we will be going to write a YAML file, which is basic, basically called as AWS underscore EC2 dot YAML. Let me check. Yeah, that's our instruction. I'm just following the Red Hat documentation just for you guys to be aware of, right? So let's do sudo vi paste dot yml yml or yml okay okay so let's fill this value out shift i let me go back to my presentation and we will be going to do it, this in phases first let's have the plugin then region us east one or whatever region you are using let me copy this okay paste it so here i'm trying to fetch all the information from virginia which is us east one let's see if we get it or not ansible inventory that's the command hyphen i call this file hyphen i list let's see what we get so we are getting all the information related to our running instances as you can see we have two running instances with two public and two private ips with aws ec2 then related information apart from instance like security group then amis as well region default lot of different set of information so if you remember in my previous lecture when we executed that inventory script we were like getting the same similar kind of information but this information is much in detail right okay so that's one part of uh, executing the script let's navigate again to our file okay okay so the next step which i want to try is based upon my filters so let me go back here again let's copy this section okay shift i ah, come on paste it now here as you can see we have two section one is tag environment dev or all dev and qa host so uh, my instances are stopped basically i'm not going to start my instance again i have to uh, exchange the key because uh, i haven't done that yet okay so let me get rid of these tag first i'm going only with the dev environment okay so if i show you tag over here it's dev perfect let's save it uh okay now ansible inventory then hyphen i call the file hyphen i from list let's see so we are getting an error fail to pass this particular file let's see what do we have over here we have region then it's a yaml indentation then filters okay i got it so we it, the tag and filters cannot be cannot have the same indentation okay save it let's try again we should be able to get something up now i have only one host which is running and tagged as dev perfect so this shows like uh, the dynamic inventory listing everything based upon the filter as well the phase of the, the filter tag now let's say i want to ping my node or get out some information so for that what i have to do there is one more thing which i want to share with you within ansible configuration there is a value called uh, enable plugin come on enable plug so this value has to be enabled so basically before running all these stuff you will find this value as commented out like this where is my found this value is commented out you have to uncomment this and add this plugin aws underscore ec2 then only it will work okay so let's do ansible then what ansible hyphen not hyphen i ansible aws ec2 okay then hyphen i aws call that file hyphen m ping let's see 
here we go we are getting a response ping pong for that particular node okay 54208214174 and what is this ip address let me see 10204 this is 10205 might be one off yeah this is stopped that's why i'm not able to reach that host so let's say if you want to check the uptime of running server so for that let's use module ansible ansible then call that plugin aws ec2 underscore ec2 then hyphen i aws ec2 dot yml hyphen m shell shell then argument uptime enter let's see then we are getting up to 30 minutes yeah we started we stopped we started we stopped so from last 30 minutes the server is up and running obviously the second node is stop that's why we are not able to reach that host and again since the ip will be going to change it's not able to find the ip into the host file perfect so i hope this clears a lot how to use the ec2 plugin so let me go back to my presentation this is the link that basically i want to share with you guys where most of the references are present let me navigate here we go so as you can see Amazon AWS inventory, EC2 inventory, that's where all the references are there. I have learned about the EC2 plugin long back using the same documentation. So this documentation is very helpful, very deep, and all the requirements, prerequisites are listed over here, okay? Now you can pass with AWS access key. It's better to always to use an IAM profile instead of uh, keeping the access key and secret key as a stored variable. So I don't prefer that if I have an option to use an IAM rule, which is much more secure. Okay, uh, if you scroll down, here is an example, which I preferred for you guys to show. First for the region, then you have plugin for the variables, then filters for the variable, then based upon host name and key value and everything, everything is listed over here. This example is a perfect example to learn the EC2 plugin dynamic inventory part. Now, I hope this clears a lot in terms of the dynamic inventory concept, how to use dynamic inventory using EC2 plugin, and in my last lecture, how to use dynamic inventory using the script, the inventory script. Now. Inventory script is an older method of doing so because you see like after using the ECU2 plugin, we are getting a lot of information as compared to the script part. So go and play around with the script side as well as with the plugin. And if you're facing some issue, place out a comment in comment section. I'll be there to help you. I'll see you in next lecture. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.